Now we're going to do the uh, arm bar stretch. And an arm bar stretch is probably one of the best shoulder exercises you can do, like prehab or rehab exercise for your shoulder. Um, it build, it's called a stretch. I didn't come up with the name, but it's really a strengthening exercise. It'll strengthen all the little stabilizing muscles in and around your shoulder girdle, and also opens up your chest a little bit. So, uh, so this is it, right? This, this is how it works. When we start off, is one, we want to make sure we've got good hand position. Our hand position here is pretty much how we set up in the clean, right? You get that almost like a false grip, right? Here's the other thing too, guys. Always use a good safety, two hands up, two hands down. I've seen a lot of people, you know, they do an arm bar stretch or whatever, they come down here and they just wing it out with one hand. And you know what? And then they end up hurting their shoulder. The whole purpose of doing this exercise is actually helping the shoulder. So use good safety, don't be a safety violator. Always use two hands to pick up the weight and two hands to put it back down. I like keeping it close to my hip. Some people like it up here. I don't really care. Just roll into it if you have to. But as long as you use two hands, life's good. So guys, once we're here, just like anything else, open your chest, press. Right? We're going to post the same side foot. It just doesn't come close to my butt. It comes close into the outside. That gives me a good driver off that heel. Right? My hand position, kind of like 45 degree angle. I drive off the heel. My hip and shoulder move at the same time. I'm keeping, you know, Nice, you know, midline, midline stabilization, all that. Once I get on my side, guys, right, ensure that this bottom arm is up and out of the way, right? Once I'm here, I got good balance. I actually retract my scalp, right? I'm not shrugging my shoulder, it's just trap re re uh, retraction. That's it. Then I just continue keeping that tight and I flatten out. I continue looking at the weight and that's it. Hold it for about three to five seconds and you just come right back. So, it's nice and smooth, it's nice, nice and controlled. So as part of a warm up, you know, you can use rel relatively lightweight. And notice too how that kettlebell is always directly over my shoulder, right? Real important. So you could do like, you know, for a warm up, three to five reps, hold it for three to five seconds. You know, you don't have to get crazy with it. And you can do it every day. I mean, it's phenomenal, phenomenal exercise. So same thing the other side, guys, we're here, Good position, drive off the heel, boom, right to the side. Make sure this arm's up and out of the way, right? Always keep looking at the kettlebell, right? Retract that scap, leg comes over. Here's the thing, a lot of people think when they're here, they're like, oh dude, I still got it. It's like, no man, you're not even done. You need to straighten that leg and get it. So it's my hips are going flat, I'm on the tops of my feet there. That's what you want. Notice again, the arm's nice and straight. Really important. So if I want to create more flexibility, it's my pec that's going to the ground. Okay? At no time, guys, at no time, do you want to let that kettlebell drift. A lot of times people are like, hmm, I'm not feeling much of a stretch right here. Then do something silly like this. Yeah, no good will come from that. That always stays straight up and down. You try to take that pec, move it closer to the, to the ground.